Hey what's up you guys, so I haven't made a video in a long time and there's a little bit of a reason for that. I stopped making videos first because I just missed a week and then, I don't know, I was not happy with the content I was putting out. In getting new view more viewers, I think, oh this video is really popular, a lot of people would love this video, a lot of people would love this video, and they are videos that I enjoy, but I don't enjoy them as much as what I could be doing. I'm not saying that all the videos I've made in the past I didn't like because I did and I just want to tell you about the funnest, funnest is the word, the times that I most enjoy filming, what I'm doing when I'm doing those things. First of all, and this is a common misconception, I am not a beauty guru. I like something that I really enjoy doing, for instance, is makeup tutorials. I really like that for the simple fact that I love doing my makeup so if I can take a lot of time making a really really good makeup look and document that and people are gonna watch that then I love that but I never ever want to be called a beauty guru yeah, I, you. I love hauls hauls are my favorite thing on the internet to watch so anytime I go shopping I want to post a haul and I think that I should be able to do that without being called a beauty guru I'm going to try posting videos that I love ranting about whatever doing whatever with my life so that I and see if my channel grows. Something that a lot of people don't understand and I don't know how to even explain the feeling. Vlogging is therapeutic to me. It doesn't matter if it's daily vlogging, sitting down here and talking to you guys. And I'm not talking about specific people that support me. I'm just talking about this camera and knowing that that's going out to other people in the world. It is so therapeutic. I, when I make a video, I feel 10 times more productive. I feel like I got things off my chest. I feel like I can do anything and I feel like I want to do more. I am running on three hours of sleep right now. I went to school this morning for the first time since break. I got home, I had an hour, I had stuff I had to do for my parents and then I went to musical practice for two hours and then I came home, I ate dinner and then I had other stuff to do. I have an essay to write and I thought I want to film a video because I've done all this stuff and I'm running on three hours of sleep. I should be napping. But I'm not and people don't understand that when I'm going through a hard time or when I'm thinking about something the only thing I want to do is turn on a camera more than probably a dozen times I have vlogged my personal day just to get myself motivated I'm like this is terrible content I don't want to put this on but it got me motivated and it got me to do things throughout my day I just want to vlog about things that I love I want to be able to do fun tags with my friends I want to be able to do a makeup tutorial I want to be able to show you um, what I bought uh, on a shopping trip. I want to be able to vlog a fun time that I had um, Like a follow me around vlog. I cannot be classified on YouTube and I think that that's something that is faulty and I think that Sometimes you're expected to do that. Everybody loves it when their favorite youtuber puts up a vlog um, a daily vlog everybody you feel like such a perfect connection personal connection to them and that's what I want my storage right now anyways so think about if your favorite youtubers okay so if Tyler Oakley, Troy Sivan and Connor Franta got together and made a video doesn't matter what it was it could be them sitting there eating it could be them talking it could be just hanging out like lot like a live stream or something that would be my favorite thing in the world to watch everybody would go crazy over that I'm not them so my mentality has always been, yeah, it's because everybody loves their personality. That's why, and they love them together. So that's why they want to see them together. That's what they want. They'd rather see them do that than see, you know, a scripted video. People don't want to see me just hanging out, but that's what I enjoy doing. My mentality was always that, that nobody wants to watch me, but I realized that that's what those people started off doing was being bored filming videos like this and that's how they grew their audience. If I talk to you about what makeup I'm using, that's part of my life and that's something I enjoy in my life. If I talk to you about what books I'm into, if I talk to you about what the heck's going on in school, how stressed out I am, whatever it may be, maybe I'm not funny. Maybe some people don't enjoy me, but someone out there is going to like it and I have to put that and if they don't like it Bye, I don't care even if in 
20 years this channel is nothing but a place where I had videos and all I do is watch them, I'm okay with being my own fan because this is something that I'm passionate about as long as I'm being myself on camera, then I'll be happy with my content. But I just want to be happy with what I'm putting out there. I don't know what I'll be posting. I don't know how many times I'll be posting. I want to be consistent with my content. I want to be as high quality as I can get without doing crap that I don't care about. I look back and some of these videos are privated only because no one was watching my channel and still no one's watching my channel but like I don't know people from school have discovered and me and Haley or me and Emma have name dropped people in videos and talked a lot of crap on people that was not appropriate for putting out there for people to see. Those videos were my most viewed and so that was hard for me to put them away but those videos were the most raw. Those videos are the most raw, they were the most viewed. There are other videos I have that have a lot of, well, I mean a lot of views. Um, that, yes, they're clickable titles. They have a good thumbnail. They have a clickable title that everyone wants to see. But if you look at the duration, because you can look at your stats and look at the duration of people watching them, you lose viewers if you are not yourself and you are not doing what you want to be doing. Let me be myself and I hope that this helps you or just tells you a little bit about myself. Holy crap. Okay, I'm burning the leaf on my plant, killing my plant. This is not a front, this is not anything. This is what I love to do. Give this video a thumbs up if you know what I'm talking about. And I want you to leave a comment below if you're watching this video, if you agree with me, and also I want you to leave a comment down below telling me some things you'd like to hear about in my life. What do you want to know about me? Ask me any question. I will reply to you. On another note, bye binge by Tyler Oakley in stores everywhere. Thank you guys so much for being there. You will be seeing a lot more of me and bye.